Hey, I'm Sage Plays. Welcome back to Planet Wild. Today we are in the outback. We're going to be filming some classic Australian animals and a kangaroo fight between these two guys. Yes, we finally made it to Australia. This has been the most popular request for Planet Wild for the past couple of months. So the map that we're using today is the Tanami Roadside Zoo scenario map. And the reason I want to use that one, apart from the obvious fact that it is an Australian outback map, is it's got this nice rock formation in the center and you can see how good that this looks you can't make stuff like this yourself in the game the textures just aren't really good enough in fact, let me show you if you just cover this with a rock texture you get this awful repeating pattern looks really bad whereas in the pre-made map you've got the uh whatever textures the developers have access to maybe you should get this really nice background so that is why we're going to be using this map it's also got a road in it and i think that's kind of a, a classic australian outback kind of uh vibe is just to have a road that seems to go on forever into nowhere um so we're going to do quite a lot of work on this obviously it's a it's just a planet zoo black tarmac path so it's got the great curves on it and uh, it doesn't look that great once you get up close to it so the first thing you want to do is sort this out so straight away just getting rid of the curb and removing the um, staff buildings gives us a much better look to it a much more natural look but we're going to do a lot more work on this road here to get this to look um, as realistic as possible and on the other side of the road over here I want a little sort of wooded area just a small sort of scrubby forest we're gonna have emus in there and we're gonna have dingoes on the road and then way way over here we're gonna have kangaroos now if you're not seeing your favorite animal in this episode do not worry Australia is a big place and this is not the only episode that we're gonna do in Australia I decided to go with the outback first because it's such a uniquely Australian environment I also want to look at northern and southern Australia in other episodes so we can see koala platypus saltwater crocodiles wombats but we're gonna concentrate on the outback today all right now we're talking now this road is looking good I'm really pleased with this so what I've done is take the edges of the tarmac out into this rocky uh, or not rocky sorry hardened dry soil here and use decals all the way along it to make it look like the tarmac is sort of melting into the earth and then we've got some of the new um, grass the buffalo grass and the dry dring grass as well love how the new grass has got a normal variant and a dry variant as well I think that's really really cool so we can get some really nice effects like this some taller grasses there as well I think that's an Australian grass if I recall correctly yeah the triodia grass I don't know if that's how you pronounce it <laughs> um, but yeah I'm happy with how this looks we've done the same thing on the other side of the road um, some decals in there as well obviously I've put the road markings in and then over here we've got a little sign which is based on a sign I built for a beaver habitat a few weeks ago, which I really like the, the look of. Um, just telling us there's no more road markings, uh, mainly because <laughs> I do not want to have to place those pasta pieces all the way down here. And um, I'm assuming that there's got to be stretches of the outback that don't have properly marked roads. I mean, it's thousands on thousands of miles. So I reckon that's uh, that's probably realistic. And yeah, that's the road. This is where the dingoes are gonna live. I'm really happy with how this looks. And I've started working on a sort of forested area here for the emus. Again, just loads of Australian plants, little bits of grass poking through. This is supposed to be one of the slightly um, wetter parts of the outback rather than the completely bone dry desert right in the center of Australia so you would get sort of plants and stuff like that here I'll get the forest sorted now did I mention the sunsets here wow they look amazing <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of footage one of the things I really wanted to capture in this episode is some classic Australian scenes of kangaroos hopping across the um, outback at sunset and two male kangaroos having their boxing matches as well so I'm building everything where effectively we can point the camera right at the sun and that is where the action is going to take place 
which is why this area for the kangaroos here is to the right of the big hill in the background so the sun's always in view let's finish up the emu forest now okay so that's the forest pretty much done really like how this looks in this light so again loads of the new grasses and some of the actual um, normal long grass as well mixed into it which makes a really nice combination and then under here I've hidden away one of the forage feeders so that we can keep the emus here pecking away at the ground um, to get some shots of them You're gonna be pretty close to the dingoes and I'll probably open up the habitats at some point but we're not gonna do a hunt in this episode what a nice uh, peaceful episode for a change as usual we're picking a few areas to do high levels of detail on rather than trying to detail the whole map otherwise there would be about one episode a year of this all right so normally in this series i basically just put temporary buildings in so i can get the animals in and then delete them because we want completely natural environments but for this one seeing as we have a road i thought it would make sense to actually just keep the staff buildings in here so i've made a little area for them just fenced it off and in here we have all the the buildings that we need to get the natural environment created and, and get all the animals in and it's so much easier if we can leave them here rather than deleting them and then wanting to make a change to an animal and having to put them all back in again firing all your staff rehiring all your staff so uh, i took the opportunity to actually leave this one here that'll make this much easier to do and we've started now working on the kangaroo area it's quite uh bare Obviously with it being the outback, you don't want to go crazy with flowers everywhere or anything like that. Just enough to feel like it's a wooded area, which is what the kangaroos prefer. When it gets up to like 40 degrees C in the day, you definitely need some sort of bush or shrub to shelter under, um, or you are not going to be having a lot of fun. And that's the outback done. Let's get the animals in. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching as always, guys. I will leave you to enjoy the animals and the uh, kangaroo boxing. Thanks for watching. Bye.